Hey guys, I'm back with a new Genshin Impact video today, and we are back with our monthly tier list video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my, guys, my opinion of the best characters in the game when they are max constellation and they're max level. So this is not going to be what character you guys choose at start of the game, but with characters that you want to have in your end game team. Okay. So let's jump right into it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and let me explain you guys how my tier list works because last time it seems like you guys were a little bit confused. So I will let you guys know right now. So if you look at my tier list, I have ranked them from SSS, which is the strongest, the SS, S, A, and B. The reason I have ranked them like this and not S, A, B, C, like other tier lists do is because I think all the characters are really strong. There's small differences between them. That's why I, I want to show that with this tier list. That's why I rank them from S, 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 S to S, S to S. Because when if I don't rank them like this, let's say I do an S, A, B or C tier list, right? So I will put somebody at S and then I'll put another character at B and they'd be like, this character is not a B rank, but instead I'll put them on S instead. So that is why I've ranked them like this. So let's jump right into it. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. Have a discussion with me. If you don't agree with me, let me know why. But I've been playing this game every single day since the start of the release. I've been mainly free to play so I know how these characters work, and what the strength and weaknesses are. So before, without further ado, let's jump into it. And I'm going to start with the newer characters uh, because that's probably why most of you guys clicked uh, on this video. So we're going to start with Child or Childy or Tartaglia, whatever you want to call him. He was released in the last banner and he is a main DPS and he can also be a secondary DPS in your team. He's not meant for support at all, but, but he unleashes a lot of DPS. When he's maxed out level 90 with max con, he can do some incredible DPS. If you uh, combine it with the correct cast for him, support cast, either with Cryo, if you have, for example, Chi Chi or Fischl with Electro, he can deal insane amount of damage. Now, he's a little tricky to play, a little hard to play. Uh, so you have to get used to playing him. He has both long range, close range with his swords or with his spear. He can unleash insane amount of DPS and he works very nicely with any kind of monsters. So that's why I'm going to put him on SSS. And uh, you can have him, which is super nice with him, is you can have him as either main DPS. Some people just rock one main DPS in their team and rest support characters like me. And then there's other people that like to have two DPSs. So he could work as a secondary DPS too in your team if you guys have another main DPS like uh, Diluc or somebody else. So great character, five star. Now, remember, I'm going to tell you guys something important again. So pay attention at the end. At the end, or while I'm doing the tier list, I'm going to be ranking them in the SS, but I will be moving them around. So the closer that whichever character is closest to the letters SSS are the ones I rank even above uh, the others in that tier, basically. So that is Tartaglia. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to my girl, Diona. Now, Diona, you guys know I've been using her and the more and more I've been using her, she's a great and amazing character overall. The reason for that is that she is a cryo character, so she can add the cryo effect. Not only that, but she can give you shields. Shields are super important later in the game when the harder content comes. You want to have a character that can shield you, which Diona will provide. Uh, and it is very unique between the healers to be able to shield you. Uh, so she does a great job. Her ultimate adds an insane cryo effect and an insane healing ability. And what is also super nice with her is she, it doesn't really matter what artifacts she has to run. She can be, have basically any type of artifacts as long as they're HP based. So this is the reason I'm going to, I was thinking about giving her a high SS, but I might have to give her an SSS, but on the lower end side of the SSS rank. She's incredible and she works great with any character that you have in your team, literally anybody. And I will rank her the secondary top healer after Chi Chi. Uh, but let's move on. Let's move on to my boy Zhang Li. Okay, so Zhang Li is an interesting character because Zhang Li, I was hoping to make him a main DPS in my team, in my secondary team. However, all his skills and everything he does screams support DPS. Everything basically. He needs 
another Geo character to be able to be fully utilized properly uh, because of his E skill. But he sh the shield he provides is super strong and super useful as a support character. However, the only way you can actually build him as a main DPS is if you build him full physical. Uh, but there are other characters that would be better him in the main DPS area. However, Zhong Li has an amazing skill which is the elemental burst. And you can literally spam it and with the max con maxed out Zhong Li. That elemental burst will have... First of all, it mobilize character for 6 seconds and only has a 12 second cooldown at a really low energy cost. So you can spam it and that's the only, like, that's a great way to have him as a main DPS. So I wanted to put him on high SS, but I think a lot of you guys are going to give me a lot of beef in the comments if I do that. So I'm going to put him on the lower end of the SS for now. Uh, but he just, I just don't see him having like a perf like support dps is really good for him but i really want to run him as main dps but he kind of lacks if you don't have another geo character basically to help him with that now the last character that is newly released is jing yan jing yan i hope i'm saying it correctly if i was saying wrong wrong now, jing yan is a claymore user uh overall honestly not that impressed with jing yan uh, we'll have to put her on S or mid tier S. The reasoning for that is it's a she's a main DPS, who's supposed to be a main DPS. Uh, but she provides a shield, which you can only there's not like the other characters where you can choose to have a small shield or a strong shield. If you use your elemental skill, it will be used. It's only pyro damage, no physical damage in there, which makes it not that strong uh, depending on the elements you fight. Her elemental burst is super nice. She does a lot of damage, but again, it's only pyro damage. Uh, so if it was a little bit of physical damage, I would have uh, probably liked her a little bit more. Uh, however, there are other claimer users that excel more than her, in my opinion. So I'll have to give her S maybe in the future, in the next year list video, if I learn a little bit more about her, I'll give you her a higher ranking. But for now, not that impressive. Uh, so gonna leave her on S. So that are the new characters. Now I've made some changes from the last tier list about the these char the characters I'm gonna be talking about now. So let's just jump right into it. First of all, we have the boy Deluke. Deluke is SSS tier, no matter what. Fast, super fast attacks. Uh, I think he's as a claimer user, uh, the elemental skill are one of the fastest attacks. Uh, super versatile. Uh, overall, does a lot of pyro damage and can do good physical damage. Can combine him with any character, and he doesn't require that much time out of the field because of the elemental skill and elemental burst. Uh, so we can combine him perfectly with another secondary DPS, like for example, Child or a great support cast around him. But you can't go wrong with Dulu. Not much more to say about him. Let's keep moving. To the next character. Now, I want really want to talk about Razor. Last time I ended up ranking Razor in SS, but if you guys watched my last video on Razor, you guys will know that this Razor, the boy Razor, is an SSS tier character. When he's max constellation level up, there is little to actually nobody that can beat him and how fast he can output to his DPS and the amount of damage he outputs with the high burst. If you have a correct cast around him, a correct support cast, because he requires a lot of time out of the field. That was the only reason I didn't put him on SSS last time, but the amount of DPS he outputs, both physical and electro damage in his elemental burst is unique from all the other characters. Most of them usually just output their element da elemental damage, but he does both and that makes him viable for any enemies even electro enemies so i'm going to put him on sss and if you need reasoning for that i really advise you guys to check out my last video now let me just fix a little bit of rankings here so we're going to have Deluc in front of child and we're going to have razor in front of diona and zong lee and these two at the bottom of the sss well let's keep let's keep going now another character i want to give a higher rank is Ningguan. Last time I put Ningguan on S, but I did some more research on Ningguan. Ningguan is almost an SSS for me, but I'm going to give her SS for now. I SS because she outputs a lot of damage and having that barrier to shield, if you know how to play her properly, she can unleash a lot of DPS. Now, what I really suggest you guys, if you guys are able to get Zhongli and you have a main Ningguan DPS, is to have Zhongli as your support DPS and he can give a nice complementary effect to Ningguan for her to do 
really good damage overall. Geo character works against good characters. If you build her right at high level max con, she does incredible damage. Uh, so I'm going to give her a high SS. Let's keep it going. Let's move on to an easy character to rank, which is Chi Chi. Chi Chi is probably the best, not probably, she is the best healer uh, in Genshin Impact. Good cryo damage. She can unleash really good damage if you build her attack base. I have my friend that builds uh, Chi Chi full attack base. It, it, she's a carry. And be able to heal, adding cryo effect. Healing, her healing is super strong. So I have to give her SSS in front of Diona, of course. And maybe I'm going to put her right here, like right behind the Luke. Maybe even in front of the Luke, actually. Yeah, I'm going to put her I put her in front of the Luke. Yeah, sorry, but the, Chi Chi is just like... If you have Chi Chi you, and you need a healer or you have any other healer, replace him. Get Chi Chi in your team, okay? Or in your secondary team. You have to have Chi Chi. I wish I got her. It would be perfect. I would have Diana in one team and Chi Chi in another team. Work perfectly. And adding the cryo effect, you can give super conduct if you combine it with facial, or you can give melt effect, uh, or you can give freeze effect if you combine it with hydro. Overall, cryo healers support are perfect let's keep it going i want to talk about my next one which is zhang ling zhang ling is one of the best supports i've made a video on this before i'm not going to change her from her last position she's a high ss tier uh character i want to rank her in front of ning Wan, but i think i will get a lot of heat for that so i'm going to keep her below ning Wan, but in ss tier amazing support doesn't require much time out of the field i'm going to be making a jing lang support video very soon i'm going to show you guys how insane my jing lang is jiang ling i'm probably saying it wrong i'm sorry but incredible support you want to build her support you want to build her dps or secondary dps you want to build her full support and i will tell you guys why in the next video but max con and her elemental skill and elemental burst are fully meant to be a support. You can put them out, switch to your main DPS, and those skills will keep going on for several more seconds without having Jingling, Jiangling out it at all. So SS. Next one. I want to... So next one is Bennett. Bennett is the guy that looks like a side character in all animes. However, at the start of the game, I was meh about Bennett. But... More and more I learn about him, more and more I play with him, I just want to put him on SSS. Like low SSS, but I have to. The reason is, Bennett's skills are incredible. You don't have to build him incredibly with his artifacts or anything. You can just have him high, have high HP. His elemental burst gives a damage increase to everybody that's in the field of elemental, the elemental burst, right? So if you have two pyro characters, for example, you will get an attack boost already from the elemental uh, re resonance, I think it's called, whatever. Uh, and his elemental burst, if you're standing in it, it heals you. So you don't need to have another healer in your team. You can literally just run Bennett and he will heal you. And uh, his elemental skill is not that great. So I wouldn't build him DPS wise at all, but just be able to unleash the elemental burst. Now his elemental burst attack is based on his base attack. So you don't have to build incredible artifacts or anything on him. You can just have him there chilling and he will be able to give you that support and utility that you need for your team works with any character at all or any team at all and the healing effect that he gives and the attack boost is incredible especially if you have max con then it's even better because he can give you even better damage boost and then uh, because his um, restriction is if you don't have any cons on him he won't be able to give you that damage increase unless your hp is about 70 percent but if you have one con on him or higher, he will give you an amazing utility. And if you level him up to 90, he will have his main base attack increase. So he will give you an even better buff. I'm going to use his elemental burst. So I'm going to give him a low SSS uh, or high SS. I, I, I think I'm, I, I'm uncomfortable having him there at where he is right now. Uh, let's talk about some uh, five-star characters real quick. Okay, let's talk about Kaching. Kaching is an SS uh tier character i'm gonna put her right behind razor uh amazing electro damage uh, the burst can do incredible dps both aoe or single target versus bosses uh her e skill which makes her charge or teleport whatever you want to call her is amazing and adding that electro effect uh, and combining her with either a cryo 
to get it as a superconduct or having at her as a main DPS. Anything works perfectly with her. Uh, does great damage overall. Electro is always a plus no matter what because uh, most of the enemies that you face are like either Pyro or Hydro or Cryo. So having an Electro character that can release some good DPS, always useful. Does incredible Electro damage. Uh, so uh, not much more to say about her SSS tier. I don't want to make the video too long, so I'm going to try and be a little more, a little faster. Venti. What can I say about my boy? Venti is like here, like SSS. Uh, even above Cheech, almost. Yo, this is hard. Now, if you build Venti correctly, if you got Venti, Venti is probably the best character to have facing against a lot of enemies. In Spiral, for example, if you face 16, 20 enemies, Venti can do all, all the levels without taking any damage. Element, his elemental burst is incredible, sucks in everybody, and just does incredible damage. If you have the correct artifact sets on him too, you can, uh, with the, the wind set, you can do combine it with different elements, combine with different elements, and doing even more damage. Overall, incredible character. Elemental burst takes almost no uh energy at all so you can almost keep spamming it elemental skill is really good can do amazing damage honestly venti's the one of the best characters in the game so i'm just gonna put him on sss high sss i'm gonna put him in front of the luke uh you know i love chi chi but you know it's it's uh it's it's close there it's close there between chi chi and venti now let's keep moving let's go to mona mona is an sss tier character i'm gonna put it her Ahead of child, even I think Mona has three skills instead of two, like any other character, or four skills if you clear the normal attack. You can go underwater and do her elemental skill, or uh, can add her elemental skill and take aggro off the enemies, which is super useful for bosses or monolith protection. And her elemental burst. I think she has the highest damage numbers I've seen out of any characters. I think she can hit up to 400k attack uh, damage from her elemental burst. So if you combine her correctly, which is wild when she's max level and max con, obviously, guys, and combine it with the correct cast. But the damage numbers are incredible. She looks thick, so I, she just she's just an SSS uh, overall. You can use her as sub DPS, secondary DPS in your team, or you can use her as main DPS. Whatever works for you. Overall, great. Uh, does great damage, has great utility, and uh, super versatile SSS. Look at how all these SSS characters. I should put somebody down to SS, right? I'm sorry, but there's really good characters in this game. Okay? It, just, it's, it is what it is. Uh, Beidou. Beidou for me is a high S tier. I'm sorry, I'm not putting on SS. I'm putting on S tier. Uh, I'm kind of conflicted with Beidou because she's supposed to be a main DPS. However, her elemental burst isn't as strong as her elemental skill, which is kind of weird not having a strong elemental burst. Her elemental burst can do some nice damage, and her counter is phenomenal, but but you need to have a great timing on using it. She could she can be an SS character, in my opinion, if you know exactly how to use her. The shield she adds and the electro effect she adds is super nice, which is kind of a support feature, in my opinion, uh, instead of a main DPS. Uh, so it, I'm kind of conflicted on her. But I'm going to put it on a high S tier, uh, or a low SS, but S tier for now. Let's keep it going. Let's go to wait, Sucrose. Sucrose, in my opinion, is an SS tier character. Uh, amazing support. You have to build a support. That's the only reason she's SS. She's like a budget Venti. Can do some, some things that Venti can do, like pulling targets in and combining it with different characters. However, her skills are based on buffing your team, buffing everybody's elemental skill, elemental burst, and elemental damage. So it works great. If you have like a one main DPS and you just have a team like Bennett and Sucrose and Jiangling build around that character, you can do some crazy stuff and crazy damage. So SS, a lot of people neglect Sucrose and put her in the low tier, but in my opinion, she is a very strong support character. All right, let's put some characters uh, in the A tier. So we're going to start with Kea. Kea overall is not that impressive, uh, even with his max cons and max level. He can add a nice elemental burst, which can add a cryo effect. Other than that, uh, his elemental skill, in my opinion, the animation is too long. The skill doesn't do that great damage. Uh, 
but he can add the cryo effect which is useful. A rank, if you max him and you compare it to other characters, not that great. You can use him, I would use him as, like here's the problem, right? You want to be using him as secondary DPS in your team, but you want to also use him as a support. Uh, so it's kind of weird, there's better option both sub DPS wise and support wise. So Kea, you're just gonna get A tier, nothing else. Uh, but so no, don't worry, Kea, Lisa is about to join you right now. I'm putting Lisa right next to Kea. Lisa has an incredible, uh, a really good elemental burst, adding some electro effect on the field. However, ele her elemental skill is one of the worst in the game. The animation for it is too long. I don't like it at all. I think it, it's such a waste uh for lisa uh but her element uh, and i like lisa as a character i think she's a really cool character but she's just not gonna make my team or most of any teams unfortunately even with her max con and max level just not enough next one is noel now if you have a set a five con noel then it is an s tier or an a tier or even a B tier. If you have a 6 con Noel maxed out, that's an SSS. Maybe even in front of Deluke, actually. The reasoning is when Noel reaches her 6 con, her defense becomes attack. So if you have her artifacts and everything based on defense, she will get 5,000 attack power, which is incredible. Her elemental burst can keep going forever as long as you're defeating enemies. Her elemental skill adds shield effect. Having the correct artifact, she can get even more DPS if she has her shield on. She can solo Spiral Abyss. Like, it's incredible having Geo and picking up particles overall. If you can get a C6, remember guys, Constellation 6 Noel is an SSS tier. Anything below, if you have her S, uh, Constellation 5 and anything, she drops tiers a lot. So you need to have a C6 uh, Noel, unfortunately. she's It's like between day and night. Like, it's it's crazy. Like, all the other characters, if you have like C3, C4, or C6, it's not too much difference. But Noel is just night and day, guys. You need to have a C6 Noel for her to be this good. Next up is Klee. I'm going to give Klee an SS, uh, high SS tier. The reasoning for that is Klee is incredible with her elemental skill and works great overall versus a lot of enemies. Uh, but in my opinion, uh, her DPS output versus like boss enemies and so on, she need to combine her usually with uh, wind works really great with her. Uh, but if you don't have wind, she can combine with other characters. But overall, her, ele uh, her elemental skill is really nice, really strong and can do output a lot of DPS. Uh, however, I don't just see her as the big dog when it comes to uh, Klee, unfortunately. But she's, again, SS, guys. She's close to SSS. She's high SS tier, uh, or could be a low SSS tier. Does incredible pyro damage. The bombs she puts out that you can combine with... If you have, like, Sucrose with her or Venti, she, she's like an SSS if you combine her with one of those characters. But overall, I'm going to put Klee on SS. The, it's a great character. If you, you want to have her as main DPS, it works really good. Uh, she has the range uh, that the other characters don't have. Uh, so overall, SS. Let's move on to the Traveler. I'm going to talk about the Travelers real quick. I'm going to talk about this is the Wind Traveler. I'll put the Wind Traveler on uh, a B. Sorry. Uh, Wind Traveler is going B. Elemental skill is okay, man. Not that impressive. Elemental burst. It, the, the tornado just goes anywhere versus bosses. It doesn't even work. Uh, uh, with all the cons and everything, it's just a B. While the Geo Traveler actually is can become an S character if you combine him with Zhong Li, because C6 maxed out Geo Traveler. If you combine it with Zhong Li, when his structures just stay for a long time because of the con, uh, C6 con. Zhong Li's uh, elemental skill can make sure that you output a lot of AoE damage. But if you don't have Zhong Li, he's an A tier. I use him as in my main spiral, secondary main sp spiral team. It works good, but I don't like its skills. Sometimes it's super buggy, resets the boss, and overall uh, experience with him is not nice unless. But I, he he goes up if you combine it with Zhong Li though. Uh, so A tier. Amber is B. Amber again. There's better characters than Amber. I don't know where she fits exactly. She has an aggro bear, which is super useful. 
uh, but you don't know if you want to have her support because she gives you a damage boost if you uh, level up her constellations. Uh, however, uh, I just don't see her if you combine compare her like at level 90 max con, she will be super strong if you get her right, of course. But if you get somebody just as much as her, she they will be way better in all the fields. So overall, not impressed by Amber at all. It's going to be lowest tier for me. But that doesn't mean that you can't make an OP Amber. Barbara for me is... Ooh, high. I'm going to put her high S here actually. Or I want to put her on SS maybe. I'll put her on S for now. The reason for that is she is... You don't have to level her too high. You just need to have a high HP on her. Overall, I just use her for her healing. If you have max con, however, if you have max con her, she can revive everybody, which is really nice. Okay, it's really nice. It's spiral, anything like that, having a revive option and get them to full HP, it's really cool. But other elemental burst does great AOE healing. Uh, however, she is hydro, and there's a lot of enemies that are cryo, and that you will struggle with, and you will be frozen if you use her elemental skill while using her. Now, let's keep it moving. Let's go to Chong Yun. Chong Yun is an S tier character. I'm gonna put him behind uh, or with Beidou. The reason I put him there is because he's a Claymore user. So what I expect automatically from a Claymore user is to be a main DPS, to unleash that good DPS, both physical and elemental. Now Chong Yun, however, his elemental burst is amazing. He puts a nice, not elemental skill is amazing, but a nice cryo field. So I feel like he's more of a secondary DPS and support while being a main DPS. It's kind of weird. He doesn't have like a really, you can't really put him in a one thing. You can't be like he's support or he's a secondary DPS or he's main DPS. He's like a little bit of everything, which makes him an S tier. Uh, he puts a nice cry effect. I would love to have another main DPS like Grazer and then have Chong Yun as sub DPS, but it doesn't work because they're both Claymore users. It's going to be super hard to invest into Claymore users. So I can't have that. But what, what if maybe Chong Yun and, and Child can go very well together uh, because they will have the freeze effect, which would be super nice. And if you add fish to the team, get some super conduct, that would be really good too. So overall, I'm putting him on S. He can, he can be an SS though, okay? But I'm going to put him on S for now. Fischl. My girl Fischl, she's a S to oh, S become big, big guys. Oh my god, I'm gonna put her, I'm gonna put her like ooh, maybe an SS. She's an SSS though, but I will have to give her a high S SS, guys. Okay, you know what? This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put Fischl here, we're gonna put Zhang Li high SS. I made my decision, guys. Okay, I made my decision. This is, this is how it's going to go, okay? I don't care. Zhang Li gets a high SS. I told you guys why earlier. While wow. Fischl get a low SSS. Fischl is incredible to have a support DPS. Even as main DPS, she can do good. But secondary DPS or support, incredible. Put out her bird. If you have the max con on her, her, con, her constellations are insane. She gives, unless she's so much more DPS, her elemental burst, her elemental skill, uh, elemental burst leaves out at crow if you have the constellations for her and for a four star character you want to have if you don't have electro in your team at all you want to have her she can add the electro damage electro effect on your enemies combine her with cryo get super conduct decrease uh enemies defenses and unleash your main dps combine her with other characters works great overall you can have overload if you combine it with another uh, pyro character like Diluc, for example. Overall, great character. You can't go wrong with Fischl. Having Fischl in your team, she works with everybody basically. Any any character you combine in that team will go perfectly. So I'll put her on a low SSS tier. Jean, my girl Jean. I'm gonna put Jean on. Hmm. I'm gonna put Jean with Barbara actually. You know what? I'm gonna put Bei Beido, Chong Yun. And what's her name? Jian Yan, Jin Yan in front here. Now put Jean in front of Barbara. There we go. Jean! Great healer. Having Animo is super nice. You can combine and get several effects. She has a push down uh, on her skills. She has good healing. Uh, but overall, she is like, she's on the Barbara level for me, in my opinion. 
Uh, some people might rank her higher on the SS. You can do some good DPS if you actually make her a DPS build while being able to heal. Uh, but for me, she's just an S rank. I think uh, uh, having another healer, uh, like if you can get Diona or Chi Chi, way better options. But she works good though. You can't go wrong with her. She's not an A tier or lower. She's an S. She's a solid. Everybody from S and up are solid guys. They're solid characters. Uh, and then last but not least, Jin Q. Now, Jin Q, in my opinion, is a mid SS. Uh, I'm going to put her him over here. He has healing abilities. Can unleash some really good DPS. However, I don't like that his skills is a really long cooldown. Uh, don't like that at all. But can unleash some good DPS. Has Hydro effect. If you combine her again, uh, combine him with a Cryo or anything else, and do some really good DPS. So I put him on SS. He gets those Water Blades around him, which is super nice. Be able to heal and uh, unleash some good DPS. So you can use him as a secondary DPS or even support. Uh, would not be using him as a main DPS though. This is my cheat list, guys. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Look at this masterpiece, okay? So, I think I have ranked them properly, even depending on the tiers, uh, by moving them. Uh, I am happy with my list. Diona could, guys, listen to me. I might be a little biased on Diona. She could be SS, uh, but she is a strong character, okay? Same goes with Ben. Bennett is like 100% SS. So, this is my list. You see some four star characters that are in the highest tier list is Noel, Max Con, guys. Remember, only Max Con Noel is SSS. If you don't have Max Con, she drops down. Uh, Razor, SSS, build him right, build him physical build. He will be an SSS character. Fischl, SSS character, great support. I don't even have Fischl on my team, but I know how good Fischl is. Diona again and Bennett, great. Those are the four star characters that are in SSS. Now, there's some five star characters, if you guys can see here. My boy, Song Lee and Klee. They are unfortunately SS and not SSS. It does not mean they're not great characters. If you combine it with the correct team, they can do incredible things, okay? But you guys can see the rest of the tier list. If you guys agree with me or disagree with me, let me know in the comments below. I appreciate it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you guys learned something or if you guys agree with me. I really appreciate it. And hopefully, I will see you guys in the next video. I'll be doing monthly tier lists. So make sure you guys are subbed and I make like weekly Genshin Impact content. So I'll see you guys then. Peace. Have a great day.